Hi, this is Challen with your FTW moment. And I want to talk about consistency when it comes to helping your kids deal with and manage their use of technology. Um, and this especially is regarding the use of the dinner table. Now, family dinner, having a meal together, especially dinner, is a, is a great way to uh, build family relationship and also to reinforce your rules in regards to technology. Now, as you as parents, um, at least at the dinner table at home, we don't expect our kids to bring their iPad or something like along that line to the dinner table. Now, what you may or may not be aware of is your own use of technology in relation to the dinner table also. Now, the kids don't care whether you run a business or you got 15,000 friends on Facebook or what have you, you you don't allow the kids to bring technology to the dinner table. You also, as parents, better not bring technology to the dinner table. And so, not only that, uh, you know, sometimes kids will want to race off the dinner table and go, you know, go back to their game or something. Uh, there's a couple of ways to fix that. You know, one is don't allow game playing in or around dinner table, dinner time, and after dinner time. Another one is, um, what was it, uh, it slipped my mind for a second. Oh, oh yeah, it's to stop that, that mad rush away from the dinner table, uh, you can adopt a practice of everybody staying at the dinner table until, everybody, until everybody's finished. And you know, there may be exceptions to the rule, but in general, you stay, people stay at the dinner table to talk and uh, have discussion and uh, get to know each other, and then especially if your parents are out of the house a lot working and you come home and sometimes the dinner table is the only place where you have that time together. Uh, so you can do special things during that time. Um, talk about, you know, just that's a good time to reconnect with your kids uh, when everybody's sitting down. Um, I, yeah, there's another thought I had I wanted to share. Um, yeah, well, you know, and, and if your kid, someone has to leave the dinner table, it's respectful and good manner to ask permission to leave the dinner table, not just rush off. I mean, that's just rude. And you don't want, and these are the kind of manners that you want to bring out to the public, too, when you go out to eat. Go to somebody else's house for dinner, especially. You don't want to uh, have bad manners there. So teaching your kids good manners, helping them manage their use of technology, also requires you to manage your, as a parent and a father, to manage your use of technology. So, um, hope you got some value from this, and I'll see you on the next video.